Hello, this is Sarah Brush. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I want, we need to talk about uh, Richard Painter, first of all. And I'll probably do a few videos about what happened. Um, if you're one of my followers on Twitter, then you already know what has been happening. And I just wanted to make sure to document it and put it on public record on my YouTube video as well. So it's well over a week now. I think it's going on two weeks. So I just was doing sort of my kind of typical, and I'll, I'll do a blog post. I think I have screenshots of just about everything including the mobbings that occurred. He incited his minions to mob me, to try to mob me to suicide repeatedly on Twitter, and I have screenshots of just about everything, I think. So I'm gonna make a blog post and just kind of dump, um, well, I'll probably do multiple blog posts, but I'll just kind of dump all of the screenshots on, on my blog. For sure. So, and uh, that'll have the timestamp of the of the initial date, the first time that he did this. So, but I was just kind of doing my um, regular defamation check uh, on Twitter, and I just saw that uh, Richard Painter, who is a public figure. He was the White House ethics lawyer, if you can believe it or not, during the George Bush era, and um, I think like in the 2000s. And he was just uh, defaming me, saying disgusting lies about me on Twitter. I just came across this and I was kind of in shock. I don't think I even remembered who he was until I came across this. And I also uh, don't think I've never interacted with this person in my entire life until now. And so he was basically, what I realized pretty quickly is that he was using me as a proxy to attack Brian Leiter. Brian Leiter is a, a University of Chicago philosophy and law professor. He is a very popular philosophy academia blog called The Leiter Reports, and then he also has one for law schools called The Leiter, I think it's The Leiter Law School Reports. And so um, Brian Leiter's pretty famous, at least in terms of law schools and academia and philosophy academia in particular. And Brian Leiter is, uh, he has been absolutely wonderful and amazing to me. And he has supported me. He has stood by my side throughout the hellish nightmare at Yale, throughout the witch hunt at Yale. And he has written multiple blog posts about my plight to help me, to help me get the truth out about the witch hunt at Yale. And he has written about my legal fight to get the Yale police body camera footage of me only from the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale. He's just been wonderful to me. He's been a wonderful support. He has stood by my side throughout this hellish nightmare. So what I realized is that pretty quickly is that, um, is that this Richard Painter, who I guess is a law professor also at the University of Minnesota Law School, and um, as I mentioned, he is the former White House ethics lawyer, if you can believe it, and uh, also um, he has 750,000. He doesn't have a blue check mark, surprisingly, but he has 750,000 Twitter followers. So this is someone with almost a million Twitter followers, a public figure, um, a former White House ethics lawyer in the white from the White House from the George Bush years. And he's attacking me on Twitter, telling disgusting lies about me, defaming me, pushing the obvious living or napping while black hate crime hoax 
at Yale. So what I realized pretty quickly is he's using me as a proxy to attack Brian Leiter. And he's been attacking Brian Leiter for months now. And in particular, um, he's upset with Brian Leiter, a particular blog post where he questioned, um, you know, the appropriateness of a law school dean, basically sort of establishing that, that, um, you know, the killing of George Floyd was absolutely 100% explicit racism and it was not something that was to be questioned or discussed or debated. Um, and so he just basically was really, it's not, so Brian Leiter was not saying that the killing of George Floyd was not racism. That is not what Brian Leiter was saying. And that's very clear from the blog post. What he was saying is that he didn't think it was the place of law school deans to make pronouncements about what is and is not fact when it's something that's in dispute, something that people, reasonable people can disagree about and have discussions about and, and also about what subsequent policy and legislation may be called for. So that's what Brian Leiter was saying. Um, and so this angered apparently uh, Richard Painter who grossly and willfully misconstrued uh, Brian Leiter's words and said that he was explicitly denying that racism was a part of the killing of George Floyd, which is false. That is not what Brian Leiter was saying. And then, um, so Brian, so uh, Richard Painter has just been like, just obsessively has some kind of obsessive and delusional personal vendetta against Brian Leiter now because of this. And he's just been ranting and raving about him on Twitter, defaming him, telling egregious and disgusting lies about Brian Leiter. So I guess when he was um, scouring Brian Leiter's blogs, he came across the fact that Brian Leiter has been an absolute guardian angel to me and has stood by my side during the hellish nightmare at Yale, um, during the obvious living or napping while black hate crime hoax and has defended me and has supported me and has supported my fight for the Yale body camera footage. So, uh, so Richard Painter decided that he was going to exploit and abuse and use me as a proxy to attack Brian Leiter. So then he made, so what his blog posts, or what his Twitter posts were, is look at this racist Brian Leiter. He defends and supports this racist, evil white woman, Karen at Yale, who's trying to lynch the black children at Yale, who's trying to use the Yale campus police to lynch the black students at Yale. So that's basically um, what, Richard Painter was saying and so I when I came across this I I responded right away and I just said you know this is ridiculous you're a lying bigot and fraud Richard Painter you're exploiting and abusing me and using me and you're attacking an obviously traumatized and vulnerable woman on Twitter, you're attacking me, exploiting me, using me as a proxy to attack Brian Leiter. But what, what I really, the point I was really trying to make is that Richard Painter, an attorney, a former White House ethics lawyer, a law school professor at the University of Minnesota, was attacking and trying to drive to suicide via cancel culture and trial by Twitter without due process, an obviously vulnerable and traumatized woman, a nobody, I'm fighting for my very survival. I can't get a job. Me starving to death on the streets is a very real possibility. My lifelong human and civil rights academic and legal careers were already destroyed. I almost died. I had to go into hiding for three years. I almost killed myself countless times. And this isn't enough 
for Richard Painter. This isn't enough for him. He's not satisfied that my life was destroyed and that I almost died. That's not enough for him. He's going to resurrect this more than three-year-old non-event and non-crime at Yale. He's going to resurrect this, dredge this up, and subject me to trial by Twitter all over again after almost three and a half years for a non-event and a non-crime when my life was already destroyed and I already almost died. I only very recently was able to secure a low-paying temp job to keep myself off the streets. And now Richard Painter, a public figure with 750,000 Twitter followers, is going to try to drive me to suicide, an obviously vulnerable and traumatized woman who has already been through the rainer. My life was already destroyed. And I basically was saying to him, is that, that not enough for you? When are you going to stop attacking me? This is a more than three-year-old non-crime and non-event. This is ridiculous. When are you going to stop? When my dead body is hung up in D.C., in a public square in D.C.? Then will you stop? Then will you stop attacking me, Richard Painter, former White House ethics lawyer? It's ridiculous. And then I also made very clear the point that this is not just about me. When blue check mark public figures, well, he doesn't actually have a blue check mark, but when public figures on Twitter subject nobodies to trial by Twitter without due process, they're the woke KKK. When they try to drive nobodies to suicide via cancel culture and trial by Twitter without due process, they're not just driving people to suicide and the suicides are stacking up. Caroline Flack, Austin Hines, David Bucci, Mike Adams, you know, Ella Kalauka, and there are more. There are a lot more. So the suicides are racking up. And so it's not just about little old me, though. He is destroying our legal system. He is destroying due process. He is destroying our egalitarian public space. And the other major point that I wanted to make, or that I did make in responding to Richard Painter, is to say that do you think you're helping black people by driving nobodies to suicide via cancel culture and trial by Twitter without due process? You're helping no one. You're helping no one by doing this. You're destroying living while black, you're destroying the black social justice movement in the U.S. He is doing this for one reason only. Well, Richard Painter's also doing it to use me as a proxy to attack Brian Leiter, but he's doing it for his own self-aggrandizement. He doesn't care about racism. He doesn't care about police brutality. He doesn't care about police accountability and transparency. And that was the other thing that he did, is he said that I should not be able to get the Yale police body camera footage. This is ridiculous and asinine and ludicrous. How can you say you're for police accountability and transparency, but you don't want me to have the Yale police body camera footage? that I'm asking for. And then he told egregious lies about that and said that I wanted footage of Lolata Siambola, the perpetrator, the main perpetrator of the living or not being well black hate crime hoax, which I don't. I want only the Yale police body camera footage from the hate crime hoax at Yale on May 8th, 2018 of my conversation with me only and the Yale campus police officers who were there because I think it shows definitively that the Yale administration and the Yale campus police, including Yale campus police chief Brunel Higgins, lied. They lied through their teeth about me to put my life in danger, to hopefully drive me to suicide or to get me killed, to send me into hiding and to destroy my life and to destroy my lifelong human and civil rights, academic and legal careers. So that's an I just want to say so much, and this was the other thing that I really wanted to make clear in my response tweets to Richard Painter, is that Brian Leiter is a godsend. He's been my guardian angel. He is kind and brilliant and a man 
and scholar of great integrity, and he has stood by my side, and I love him dearly. And Richard Painter is an evil monster. He is a lying bigot and a fraud, and he incessantly attacked for well over a week now, and he's still going. He's still going. He incessantly attacked a vulnerable and traumatized woman and I literally, I literally responded to him. He was blocking me on and off. And during a period of time when he wasn't blocking me, I literally responded directly to him and I begged him to stop. I begged him to stop. I said, I don't understand why you're doing this. This is a more than three-year-old non-event and non-crime. My life was decimated because of this. I've already been punished in such an egregious and egregiously disproportionate manner. I don't understand why you're not going to stop until my dead body is hung up in a public square in D.C. This is, this is asinine. This is evil. And I'm begging you to stop. I'm begging you to stop. You're a public figure with 750,000 Twitter followers, you keep inciting mobs against me. I'm being mobbed incessantly. And I'm a nobody with a tiny account. I'm fighting for my life. I'm fighting for my very survival. And I'm begging you to stop trying to drive me to suicide. And he won't. And he won't stop. All right, I think I'll stop here because I don't want this video to get too long, but I will make more videos about this situation and different aspects thereof. I love you all so much for all of your support. It means the absolute world to me. I will have all of my fundraising links below. Please subscribe, please like, please share, please comment. Please donate to my legal fund so that I can restore due process and equal protection at Yale and everywhere and so that I can stop the fake news press and moral outrage industry from getting one more innocent person killed. All right, I love you all so much. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.